Hi, I'm Brian Hayes, and today I want to talk about the difference between Salesforce and Salesforce Essentials. So this is something that can be pretty confusing to people that are trying to navigate what version of Salesforce they should purchase for their business, especially small and medium sized businesses. So let's take a look at Salesforce's website and I'll walk you through the difference. So the first thing to understand is that Salesforce makes a lot of different products. They create software for sales teams, service teams, marketing teams, developers, etc. But when somebody refers to Salesforce, the product, they're usually talking about the core database, which serves sales teams and service teams. So if you come to Salesforce's website, you can see that they've got all of their products organized into different clouds or categories, sales and service are right at the top. So if we look at the sales cloud option and go down to pricing, you can see that we've got different tiers with different costs for Salesforce. Now, typically the more expensive the tier, the more features and the more functionality that you get. And that is true for professional enterprise and unlimited editions. As you spend more money, you get access to more functionality and higher limits. So Essentials is a little bit strange because it's the cheapest option here. And in many ways, it can't do nearly as much as professional or enterprise or unlimited, but in other ways, it actually has extra functionality that you couldn't get in those higher editions without paying extra for add-ons. The reason for that is because Essentials is designed for small and medium-sized businesses, and it's capped at 10 users. Once you have more than 10 users, you're going to get pushed up to the professional or enterprise edition. And the way that Essentials has some additional functionality that professional enterprise doesn't is because it's actually a combination of both the sales product and the service product. So right now in sales cloud pricing, you know, 75, 150 bucks, this is just talking about sales team functionality. And if we come back to products here, we can take a look at the same structure, but on the service cloud side. Here it's even, you know, the same pricing across professional enterprise and unlimited, but this is for service teams. So the functionality is, is quite different. There's a good amount of crossover, but as you go up in price in addition, we're talking about service specific features. So the Essentials Edition is giving you functionality from both products, from both clouds. You got sales functionality and service functionality in one license. Professional and enterprise licenses are really just sales functionality or just service functionality. Now with all things related to pricing and what features are included in what licenses, definitely talk to a salesperson over at Salesforce because this kind of thing changes all the time. They've had many different uh, licenses and SKUs in the past. They don't have any more. And I, I certainly expect it's going to change moving forward too. But I hope that helps you understand how Essentials can have a little bit more functionality than professional or enterprise, but you're limited to just 10 users. And there's definitely trade-offs between Essentials and those other editions. If you found this video helpful, please hit like and subscribe if you want to see more Salesforce tutorials. Thanks for watching.